Hello folks. So in this video, uh, which is a continuation of the previous video, I'm going to uh, basically uh, show you how to create a training data so that our deep learning model, um, you know, in fact, deep learning neural network uh, model can uh, read it seamlessly. Okay. And I'm also going to cover uh, how to uh, basically uh, develop the neural network model for chatbot by adding input hidden and output layers using TF Learn. And then later on, I'm going to save this uh, deep learning uh, net neural network model so that we don't have to uh, basically train it again and again, right? And I will also be showing you how to save intermediate data structures like word list, classes, list, uh, training data, etc. So this video can become a little bit longer, but uh, as we know that in order to acquire any good knowledge, we have to give some time in learning that skill. So watch this video till the end. And by the end of this video, you will be able to know how to build uh, these complex deep learning neural networks from scratch. Hey, what's up folks? Uh, this is Nitin welcoming you to AI University channel where you can learn all your favorite digital technologies like machine learning, deep learning, AI, big data, Hadoop, virtual reality and cloud computing. You can acquire the related skills in order to advance your career in these fields. So if you are new here, then consider clicking or subscribing to this channel. Or if you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about the hottest technologies of 21st century. So without wasting uh, some uh, more time, let's move on to see some code associated with this uh, chatbot. OK, and in these uh, set of lines, uh, uh, in fact, uh, let me open my Jupyter notebook first. Uh, and we are going to proceed uh, beyond uh, what we left in the previous video. OK. So here is my Jupyter Notebook, okay? You can see here, and last time we basically left at this place, right? So let me uh, increase the font size. Oh, so let me keep, keep it 150 for now, okay? And here is the code from where we are going to proceed further, okay? So here uh, um, I'm starting uh, uh, in these, uh, in fact, set of lines, I am transforming this data further, uh, which was generated above this data. I'm talking about this data. Okay, so I'm transforming this data further. That is transforming them from document of words into tensors of numbers. Okay, and here I'm starting with creating the training data for our model. So I created a uh, two more lists here. Uh, first one is a training list. OK, and then there is an output list. And then in the next line, I'm uh, just creating, uh, you know, an empty array for our output here. You can see here, right? So I'm just creating an empty array here, right? And let me scroll down a bit. OK. So next, I incorporated for loop uh, to start collecting bag of words uh, for each sentence and then appending that uh, bag of words in the training set. So here I first initialize the bag of words here. And then I created a list of tokenized words from patterns. OK. So here you can see this line of code. So here I'm just creating a list of tokenized words for the pattern. Later on, I stemmed each word here in this line of code. I stemmed each word and then incorporated uh, one more for loop here down below. Uh, one more for loop, uh, you know, to create the bag of words arrays. OK, so next I'm creating a training data set. You can see here. So training data set I'm creating, uh, which is a combination of bag of words and output, uh, which is a list of tags or classes such that output value is one for current tag and zero for all other tags. 
next i'm shuffling our feature so let me scroll down so in this line of code i'm just shuffling our features okay and then turning it into an array uh, using uh, numpy arrays okay and lastly i'm splitting the bag of words uh, training array into features and labels okay so these are the features and this is the label okay uh, features and label as i told you the train train underscore access a feature data set uh, in the form of intent patterns and train underscore y uh, contains the label data in the form of associated tags or intent class okay so now comes the fun part here okay uh, where i'm going to build the neural network from scratch first uh, we are resetting the underlying graph here using this particular line of code i'm just resetting the underlying graph okay and then secondly i'm adding the input layer which is a so this one this is the input layer okay so this input layer is a layer used for inputting uh, also known as feeding uh, data to the network so a tensor flow placeholder will placeholder will be used if it is supplied here okay otherwise a new placeholder will be created with the given shape okay so either a shape or a placeholder must be provided otherwise an exception will be raised here and if you want to learn more about uh, placeholders then you can watch uh, the video given in the i button above okay so i have created a separate video for placeholders so in order to get the detailed knowledge of uh, placeholders you can just go through that with video so here in input layer we have a shape parameter you can see here very well okay and i'm passing none and length of train underscore x okay so which is uh, i mean which actually contains 60 features so strain underscore uh, x uh, and in solid brackets zero so this particular value contains 60 features and len is nothing but uh, you know kind of finding out the size of uh, this so 60 is the count given by length uh, okay so this particular function okay so this contains 60 features now next two layers are hidden layers so these two layers are hidden layers and each of them has 10 nodes okay and uh, 10 nodes and the nodes i have already discussed in the previous videos in the deep learning uh, neural network uh, related uh, playlist so you can go through that playlist to get the complete knowledge of uh, nodes as well as uh, you know edges in a computation graph okay now finally our output layer has a number of classes depicted by this particular statement so this is the number of classes and the activation function which is being used here is softmax so again uh, i have uh, covered a separate video for activation functions uh, in my deep learning uh, related uh, playlist so you can watch that video and I have provided the link in the i button as well so you can just click on that uh, button and get the complete information from there so the next layer uh, which is tflearn.regression on in the brackets net is a regression layer which is used in tflearn to apply a regression uh, either linear or logistic to provide uh, in order to provide the input uh, basically uh, uh, to apply the regression to the provided input okay my bad so uh, next i ins instantiated uh, a deep learning neural network here tflearn.dnn using this particular statement okay so i'm just uh, kind of uh, instantiating a deep neural network here so tflearn.dnn uh, basically uh, so basically uh, tflearn.dnn with our network uh, uh, we have uh, a tensor board uh, parameter here to enable logging okay so this is nothing but all the layers and this particular parameter is the 
tensor board parameter to enable logging. So DNN is a model wrapper that can automatically uh, perform a neural network classifier tasks such as training, prediction, uh, save or rest restore, etc. And finally, um, let me scroll down a bit. So finally, um, uh, we fit our model with the training data here. Okay, using this particular statement. Okay. So we are uh, kind of fitting uh, our model with the training data we have in the form of train underscore X and train underscore Y. And I'm taking number of epochs as thousand here. Uh, and one thing to note here is that the higher the number of epochs, the more accurate your model will become. Okay. Uh, so the accuracy improves further if we have number of epochs, but it should be optimum value. Okay. Now I'm taking data in the batches of eight. So the parameter batch size here, you can say, see here. So the parameter batch size is kept as eight here. And uh, since we want to see the matrix, that's why uh, we kept the show matrix parameter as true here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, finally, I'm saving our model here in this line of code. So I'm finally saving our model with the name model.tflearn so that I need uh, I don't need to run all the training steps. So the, these training steps, which I mentioned here. So I need not to uh, you know run these steps again and again. Uh, in fact, I can just save my model and you, uh, you I can use it later on, okay? So I, I, I would just refer the saved model later on and uh, this model will have all the saved weights as well as hyperparameters. Okay. And please note that I don't need to, uh, you know, uh, rebuild this model unless the intent pattern changes. That is, if later on, let's say we decide to add more intents in our intent file so that model can provide predictions for those new intents as well. Uh, so in that case, we might, might need to retrain our model and with several hundreds of intents and thousands of patterns, the model could take, you know, several minutes to build. So just to note, okay, we always rebuild our model whenever we provide a new intent file to it, okay, or any new intents to it so that a chatbot can read those additional intents and provide the output accordingly or response accordingly. Okay, so folks, uh, this is it for. Uh, um, oh, I forgot one more thing. So the let me quickly cover that one as well. So uh, yeah, because we saved the model, so let me uh, explain this particular line of code as well, which is pickle dot dump. Okay, so in this cell, I'm just importing pickle library in order to save all of our data structures, uh, be it word list right here classes list training uh, train x or train y anything if, if you want to save those data structures you can save them and uh, using pickle dot dump so pickle is another uh, library python library through which we can save uh, any model or uh, intermediate uh, data structures okay so i'm just kind of saving this uh, particular uh, uh, the data structures, words, classes, train x, train y, y in the file name. Uh, let me scroll right. So in the file name, training underscore data. So I'm just pickling or saving these data structures in a file name, training data here. Okay. So folks, this is it for this video. Uh, to conclude, I explained uh, how to create the training data for chatbot uh, related, um, you know, model, and then later on. Uh, build the neural network model from the scratch by adding inputs, hidden layers, output layers, etc. And I also showed how to save this uh, model as well as the intermediate data structures. So folks, uh, let me ask you a question from today's uh, video. Uh, so what will happen if we don't supply the placeholder, uh, placeholders in the model we build? Please post your comments in the comment section given below so that I can uh, get a chance to incorporate your feedback. Okay. And you can also ask your technical questions in the comment section given below. 
uh, I will be glad to answer your questions. And if you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. And in case you have already subscribed, then click on bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming video. So keep on watching. Thank you.